Hello, I am Robin with the Boonstock Museum of Discovery, and it has been raining a lot here in Dayton, Ohio, which makes me think about the water cycle. Did you know that this glass of water was drank by dinosaurs a really long time ago? Kind of gross, but kind of cool. So the Earth recycles water in the process called the water cycle. And today we're going to review what the water cycle is and do an activity together so you can watch the water cycle at home. We're going to talk about the water cycle using a water droplet. The water droplet is way up in the air where it's very, very cold. The water droplet gets very heavy and precipitates down to the ground where it collects into a body of water. That body of water could be a river, creek, stream, or even a puddle of water. The sun will heat up that body of water and the water droplets will then turn into a gas and evaporate back up into the atmosphere where again it gets very cold. More water droplets join it and clouds form. Once that cloud gets so heavy and so full of those water droplets, it precipitates again and the water cycle continues. The water cycle is difficult to imagine or see because it's so big. So we're going to make a water cycle inside of a bag. Now for this activity, we will need a resealable bag, permanent markers, soil, grass seed, and water. To begin, we need to draw the water cycle onto our bag here. So to start, I'm going to draw a lovely little sun. Now the sun is putting a lot of heat out and heating up a body of water or a collection of water. Now you can make it an ocean, river, puddle, whatever you want. But I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of dirt too, because dirt is a major part of this too. Sun's heating up that water, the water starts to evaporate. Now evaporation is a gas, so we can't see it. So to kind of represent that, I'm gonna draw some arrows going up. The gas travels up into the atmosphere, gets really, really cold, and starts to condense into little clouds, or big clouds. Those clouds get really cold, they get really heavy, and precipitate. So your precipitation can be rain, it could be snow, it could be ice, it could be just polka dots, whatever makes you happy. But this is our water cycle, sun, heating up the water, the water evaporates, condenses, and it precipitates again. So our first step is done. The next part, which is the fun part, we're going to add some soil. You want to add about a half a cup of soil. And then to that, we want to add some seeds. We're using grass seeds, but you can use whatever kind of seeds you want, beans, marigolds, whatever you have at home. But you do wanna shake it just a little bit to tuck those seeds into the, the soil so they're cozy. Now to that, we need to add some water. We want to make the soil wet, but we don't want it dripping wet. So I'm gonna add some water, shake it, squish it up just a little bit. All right, there we go, looks pretty good. Now here is the important part. You wanna seal your bag up. Now the real science is gonna happen. We're gonna take our bag, we're gonna place it in a windowsill where an adult allows you. You can rest it on the windowsill or tape it to the window. But the big thing is do not open the bag. Keep it sealed. If you keep it sealed, the sun, the real sun, not your drawing, will heat the bag. As it heats the bag, that water will evaporate to the top, it will condense, it'll get heavy, and it'll precipitate back down, watering your seeds. After a couple days, your seeds will sprout, and after a couple weeks, you're gonna have grass or marigolds or whatever plant you planted inside of this bag. And you will have gotten to watch the water cycle happen. Really, really neat. Now, say you don't have soil and seed at home, there is an easy alternative. Again, you're going to draw the water cycle on your bag, but instead of the soil and seed, you're going to add water, about a half a cup of water, quarter cup, whatever, it doesn't matter, both will work. 
you'll place it in the window, just like you did the other bag. The sun will heat it up, and you'll get to watch the water cycle happen again. You just won't have plants. It's still just as cool. I hope you have enjoyed our video today. If you have liked it, please subscribe, and have a wonderful day.